you ask me where have I been, I, I think that the major part of my life was I feel that I am at a point where I look back and go, oh, I know why I reacted that way. It was because of issues I had from earlier on. You know, I kind of like feel like that sometimes in life you're just not aware. You're not in the moment and reacting to things without stopping and thinking, why am I doing this? You know, Big thing that probably coloured my whole life is the death of my mother or my relationship with my mother and her dying when I was 11. And that really has coloured my life and probably wouldn't have known at the time. But later on, I see that from looking back, you know. So a lot of what I think about maybe now is that did I do well by the young child and um, I think in that sense I think I have. This is a mad question, where am I going? To the grave is where I'm going, basically. That's where we're all going. But on the way, I'm trying to appreciate life. I mean, I've lived more of my life than, than I'm going to live without getting too morbid about it. That, that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing when you, when you start thinking about the fact that you're going to die. When, you, when you're in denial of death, you're not living. When you think of death, you go, I'm li now I'm living because I want to... Today could be the last day, you know, so you just... I don't, I don't think like that every day, but I mean, I try to remind myself that if you have something you, you're thinking of doing, better start doing it. And I try to do that. I don't always do that all the time, but, you know, but if you've got something to say to someone or, or if you've got something you, you want to do, well, guess you got to do it. Greatest fear. I have the fear of not being secure financially and being old and not being able to work. I mean, I feel like I'm not, I'm in a job where I don't want to retire, you know, I, mean, I just want to keep working. I suppose a fear I would have is that no one wants to see an old dude doing stand-up and that I'm, but I'm still doing it. I just imagine I'm in this really old dude who can hardly walk going up on the stage in a pub and there's just five people there. On the other hand, I, I think one of the advantages of getting older, this is uh, something that I kind of look forward to, is that I could be really old and just extremely rude. And if there's old people in the audience who are upset and offended by my material, I go, forget it, I'm actually older than you, so, you know, deal with it. Would I change anything about myself? Well, you see, this is a ridiculous question in a way, because if I changed anything about myself, I wouldn't be me. So, and even if I changed one of my teeth, like this goofy tooth here, well, then I wouldn't be me, so I wouldn't know, you know, I wouldn't know what it's like to be me now, because I'm sure that has affected my whole, my, like, just as any, part of your body, anything, every moment that happens to you as you grow up or as a child be, makes you you. So if I was to say superficially, you know, I'd love to be able to grow a really good beard and I can't. But that's, uh, that's quite superficial. I'm sure if I had a big bushy beard, I'd, I'd go, I'd love to be a guy who doesn't have to shave every day, you know. So... I'm going to say no. I'm going, to, I'm going to say no because it wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be me then. And uh, I'm better off being me because at least I know who I am. Yeah, I was in a band called Guernica. Released three singles. Well, we broke up after recording an album. But it's an interesting thing to look back on because it was... Uh, I'm known for doing comedy. And at that time, there's no way I would have thought I'm going to do comedy. I was an intense young man, lead singer in a band. I'm really proud of that work that we did. 
and and uh, you know my son is in a band now who are doing really well and and uh, I just see I the photograph of me there looks exactly like my son it's just incredible uh, so uh, it, it reminds me of a different time but it also connects me to my son as well who's is pursuing the same thing albeit. Uh, is much better technically than what I was doing, but yeah. Oh, it's Stevie Wonder, maybe. Oh, what's it called? Is it just enough, just enough for the city? Yeah. Stevie Wonder is amazing. He's just amazing. And that song has got two stories. It's got the story of the country girl who gets up early to get to school, but poor people who are you know, just getting by and, uh, but are dignified and good people. And then the guy who arrives in the city, some guy offers some drugs or something, and then the cops just arrest him. And he's just arrived in the city and uh, he's thrown into prison. And that's just the unjust side of life for people who just don't have the advantages. It's just one of the most important things in, in life is that everyone gets a fair chance, you know. Think about what it's like to be in their shoes. Just think about that and how you'd feel and wouldn't you want a hand. <laughs>